Okay, part four to what if Deku was Avatar? Like, five seconds after the ending of the, the last part. So, Deku has given Yomo, Yomoshi, or Yorashi, Yorashi, uh, Bakugo, Kurishima, and Todoroki the ability to bend. And Deku can't really teach them that well, especially uh, Yorashi and Todoroki, since he hasn't even learned uh, water, and he hasn't even mastered air. So it's at this point where I say he gets help from Aang, because Aang can materialize himself. And he says that, say, he doesn't explain the Avatar thing, but he explains that Deku's quirk, he explains that uh, the ability to be, he basically explains the Avatar. He explains that they have been reincarnated over and over throughout time to bend the elements, and where Aang is from, Almost everybody can bend. There are people that can't bend that are called non-benders, but they can be given the ability to bend. It's at this point, Aang, he's already, he, this is in a, his adult form as well. He's mastered all four elements. And he starts, uh, he starts teaching Yoarshi and Todoroki how to bend their elements. And he even gives some pointers to Bakugo and uh, Kurishima how to do it. Like, since they only have to master one, they're picking it up fast, but Deku, he wants to learn as fast as possible to bend, but, as well, but he has to learn all four. He also gives the rundown that there are advanced levels to bending. For water, you have the ability to turn the water into ice, turn it into vapor, take water from, the, from your surroundings and use it, but... Most like most people who water bend carry some amount of water on their body, like in a container, so they can use it. It's at this point where uh, uh, she also explains that they need to be, that Todoroki needs to be careful because he has the ability to blood bend, and he exp he gives them a small like emphasis on. Uh, blood bending where he can manipulate the water in the person's body to control them, but he says you should only use this ability if it's a life or death situation for you or anyone like any of your friends. If the person's evil, then use the blood bending to stop them. And he explains that he, uh, that Todoroki has to learn to manipulate uh, the water the small amount of water, or the water in the body. So what he does is, uh, what he does is, he has, he mostly focuses on his primary thing. Since they're at the beach, he focuses on moving and pulling. He gives the basics on push and pull are the basics of the element. Weight and attack is for water. So he gives a rundown on you have to push and pull, basically, and eventually he learn. He like he masters it around the same time as Bakugo masters fire. Fire is very easy. It's for strong. His fire is for strong attacks. Like they, uh, in the anime or in the uh, Avatar series, fire bending is about strong, like strong attacks. They sacrifice their defense for strong attacks and then he explains that the whole air bending saying that it's only about evading the entire thing is mostly about evading and then waiting to attack and about how the avatars were nomads and they were mostly peaceful people and then he goes to Kirishima he explains th to them to him about earth bending the basics of it, and he eventually explains uh, to Kirishima the advanced uh, to the advanced levels of earth bending, which are metal bending and lava bending. I'm just gonna say for this one because I don't know if Aang actually knew about lava bending. I'll say for this one he was uh, looking through Korra at a certain time and saw her friend. Uh, Bolin, I believe his name is. 
he saw her friend Bolin lava bending. And technically, Deku can learn all of these, but uh, it just takes years of practice to learn even one element. But they're all prodigies, and people in the school don't know that the other four are able, they, they don't know they have what they think are quirks. They just know they hang around Deku for him to protect them. They can all protect themselves, though. He explains about lava bending and earth uh, and metal bending are advanced versions of uh, earth bending, metal bending, and lava bending. He explains to Bakugo that there is two advanced earth. There are two advanced fire bending techniques called combustion bending and lightning bending, which Aang doesn't know either of, but he will send Deku to meet someone who he thinks can teach him. And I'm talking about Iroh, because you remember in the Korra series, like the Legend of Korra, Iroh, when he was done in his time at Earth, when he died, he moved his spirit, which is still his like normal body, which is in the shape of his normal body, his normal body to the spirit world, and he met Korra there when she needed guidance. So, let's say that Aang, since he's technically a spirit, but uh, eventually, if he's if he meditates long enough, he's able to go into the spirit world, and he meets Iroh eventually because he knows Korra met Iroh, so he should be able to meet Iroh as well. So he says there are two advanced bendings for fire, combustion, and lightning, which he learned neither because combustion was such a dangerous and new technique that. Uh, the first person he saw that knew it blew off both arms, both not both arms, both his right and le uh, right arm and leg, and said at the time of him learning the four elements, the only people to know lightning bending or the ability to use lightning was uh, a royal family, and then he explains to Arshi that there's really no advanced level of of air bending, except for the ability to fly through extreme meditation. He says that eventually one monk and only one other person besides this monk was was able to achieve a bending the uh, advanced level of air bending uh, through meditation. When they were when they uh, when they did this, they gained the ability to fly uh, without really no effort basically like they flew in the air like it was nothing so i know i'm dragging this on a lot about how all this is happening but i just want i want it to be this way for some reason uh they all learn their elements deku has let's say by the a he's learning water bending and it's coming a lot easier to him than uh than air bending he's learning water bending and let's say he starts, he mastered water bending at the age of 13, so two years after he is 10. So at this point, uh, all the other guys have mastered their uh, basic bending. And, de and at this point, they all start trying to learn advanced bending. So Todoroki tries to learn advanced water bending which is just oh, I also forgot Deku uh not Deku Aang gave him the rundown about healing as well. So in this he starts learning how to turn the water in to ice and learning how to turn the ice back into water with ease. Bakugo starts Bakugo can't really learn any really advanced bending yet until until after a while. And then uh, Kirishima is learning to bend metal or love. Let's say there's never been any example that anyone can't learn both, oh, uh, what is it, birth, both lava and metal bending. They just say that, uh, they're just, lava bending is much more rare than earth bending. And that there's really been no one who's ever tried learning both. Because it's already difficult learning 
uh, earth bending that it's it's even harder to learn metal or lava bending. And Bolin he lava bent by accident to save the, to save his life. He lava bent by accident. So in this, he's learning to metal bend because it's the more well useful one to him. And Yamoshi just meditates. Yoroshi just meditates to be able to fly. And so does Deku. So Bakugo is just practicing and honing his skills on the on his fire. And they've also cleaned up a good portion of the beach because they need to learn how they need to they're gaining muscle. So Deku is sent in, is sent to meditate into the spirit world by Aang. He eventually learns how to do this during the two year or uh, the three year gap. So he learned he learns to meditate into the spirit world, and he eventually finds Iroh. He finds Iroh, and Iroh gives him the basics of uh, of lightning bending. I'm gonna say for yeah for Bakugo he can only lightning bend he can't combustion bend because there's no one to teach Deku how Deku or Bakugo how to combustion bend so he finds Iroh he gives them the basics of how to lightning bend and also how to redirect it and Deku and this remind the redirecting reminds him of water bending and Iroh explains to him that's where he got the idea of redirecting lightning but it's a very dangerous technique and, the, and he says people can only learn to lightning bend or use lightning if they're a firebender if they don't have any torm oil and uh, if they don't have any torm oil. And he also learn uh, and that's basically it. So eventually Deku starts practicing how to do it. It took him a couple months to even get a spark. So by the time he's 12, he's learned to generate the lightning and shoot it. A couple times there was explosions because it was imperfected and he hasn't learned how to do it. And eventually he learned how to do it and Bakugo was learning us alongside him how to do it. Bakugo, since he was only focusing on one element, learned it quicker. At this point, everyone's mastered advanced, uh, most, most advanced while bending. Kurishima, I'm going to say, has learned water, has learned, uh, not water metal bending. If you want him to learn lava bending as well, or just metal bending uh, with his earth bending, then tell me. Uh, for whoever watches this, tell me in the comments. But for uh, what is it? But for Todoroki, he's able to create big, large waves with ease now, because how long he's been practicing, how much he practices. And he's also able to make ice. Uh, make ice with ease and manipulate the ice and uh, the water vapor. He starts trying training to learn how to take water out of air and water out of plants. Eventually, he thinks uh, like he learns somehow how he learns that he can only water bend uh, or blood bend through extreme emotion or during the full moon. But the reason he learns this is because well, he starts uh, like basically. He collected through a very dangerous and not not very cool uh, thing of removing his blood, like over one like over a process of months. He's taking out he's taken out a couple he's taken out a cup of blood by this time. He's taken out a cup of his own blood that he's preserved to try and bend the water in it eventually he learns how to like he learns how to do it but he can only do it through extreme emotion or at this time he can only do it through extreme emotion or full moon also cur uh, by this time Yamoshi has fully mastered his flying basically everyone's learned their advanced bending and uh, what is it and let's say that just because uh, Todoroki has fully, he's fully mastered his water bending and basically ice bending, but he's learning to, he starts learning to try and do uh, healing, which we're going to say he learns from Deku because Deku meditated long enough 
to where he act like say Cora meditated into the spirit world. He, she was just meditating, and she meditated into the spirit world and met Deku. They don't know that each other is are two different avatars, but at this point, uh, Deku, uh, she says that she can her bending her her original bending is water, and she says that to heal. And she doesn't. She can't bend because she's not physically in there. But she gives a rundown on how to bend. Deku eventually learns it, and so does uh, Todoroki. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it off for here. This video is getting a bit long.